And now Paul Haney down in Houston again. This is Germany Control Houston. The coastal center Quebec now is reading the uh, telemetry signal from both spacecraft. They estimate the distance at about 25,000 feet uh, on the order of five miles. And that agrees very closely with our plots here. We're hopeful that uh, we'll get some voice communication as the two come very close together. The telemetry information Haney talks about is uh, the automatic information, uh, the readout of the various instruments aboard the uh, spacecraft, uh, their radar and so forth, that are repeated on the ground automatically. The telemetry comes down on a wide band of a lot of information. Here, Wally Shiraz just advised that he's breaking a little bit. That's the only part of the conversation we can understand. We're standing by. If that was a simultaneous uh, transmission at 2.21, he was scheduled to break, 2.21. Uh, However, at that time, according to the original flight plan, he should have been a little closer in than 25,000 feet. There may be a time lag in that information also, uh, as these maneuvers have been uh, carried out, uh, there would be some change. Quebec says the conversation is way down, it's murky. We're having trouble copying it here. Once they get within 100 feet, and that should uh, come over the western Pacific there, uh, over not too far from Indonesia, uh, they continue a slow approach to, Shiraz has said, well within 20 feet. And then they back off 100 feet uh, a few minutes later then start conducting their maneuvers, flying around each other. Actually, six flying around seven. This is Gemini Control Houston. Now we have raised the six spacecraft over the range tracker. Tom Stafford advises in the calmest voice I think we've ever heard that they are 120 feet apart and sitting. 120 feet apart and sitting. Let's uh -huh. try to get some additional conversation from them uh, right now, there's a lot of rough air on the line, but perhaps they will come back. Houston. They've taken down the range tracker line now. And when uh, Tom Stafford came through with that reading that of 120 feet and, and sitting, here in the control center, everyone broke out an American flag and pinned it up on his console. There must be fully uh, 40 flags in this room right now. Everyone is standing. Every room uh, looking on this mission control operations room is jammed with people. The floor itself has the usual number. Let's go back to Hawaii, which has raised six. We copy. Okay. You guys are 
open on me. Where are they hanging from? Oh, Frank, it looks like it comes out at the separation plane. It might be the fiberglass. It's approximately oh, 10 to 15 feet long. The separation plane for the booster, right? Affirmative. That's exactly where you have one, too. It really belted around there when you were firing your thrusters. Looks like about eight or nine feet long and double wire. Right. Look at that thing. So up there they talk. Right away. We copy. Do you want to go ahead with this flight plan update the interim number? Do you want to just hold up? I ask him if they're ready to copy. Okay. Uh, seven away. Go ahead. I got a short flight plan update if you'd like to copy him. Stand by one. So as they uh, hurtle along up there over Hawaii, they uh, look at each other's spacecraft and tell each other how the seven looks to six and how six Stand looks away. to seven. Okay, D4, D7. Two, six, five. This is a Four, readout three. of, uh, zero, zero. of technical information Don't regarding a future flight plan, which Four, uh, two, usually seven. involves only minute changes in the matter of a few seconds a uh, which, at times at which various maneuvers take Roger place. That. I say again, sequence 427, mode 03. Important thing now Take is that America has achieved this One tremendous first quarter. in space. Second perhaps only to the first manned flight in space, Three, Yuri four, Gagarin, seven. a Russian first. This is the next two, greatest six, achievement five. in space. And this is the more sophisticated one, perhaps, that puts us well on the road toward true space exploration. They're 125 feet apart. Uh, Shira has perfectly braked his Gemini 6 down to the point where they're keeping that exact distance and uh, hurting along at the moment until Shira decides to either move in a little closer or move out for that in-plane maneuver as he circles Gemini 7. And these two spacecraft up there are seeing things that man has never seen before, uh, specifically another spacecraft in flight, just 125 feet away. And they're telling each other some rather interesting technical information. I've got an update for you if you're not too busy to copy the short one. This is the Hawaiian station, uh, and uh, through Hawaii, the master the control there at uh, Houston, talking to the spacecraft, giving them technical information. They've told each other that there is a trailing line of some kind, some part of the debris apparently left after separation of the second stage from the adapter section, which is that big white section behind the spacecraft itself. Uh, both of them seem to be trailing this piece of material. I don't think it's ever been suggested before that such a piece of material does hang on to the spacecraft, and obviously it goes just as soon as the adapter section is dropped for retrofire. It's nothing uh, that uh, has any effect, apparently, on the flight itself. Okay, very good. You've got it. Very shortly, in uh, about, uh, oh, it should be about know, 10 minutes from now, we, we should be getting some excellent uh, information from the spacecraft as they come back into the range of the uh, continental North American tracking stations. Spacecraft 7, turn off their adapter C-band. All uh, right. 7 away, will you turn your adapter C-band off? Roger. That's in the command position. That's good. Okay. That'll do it. Uh, fight away. Where's that coming from? 
Okay, we're not having any trouble with radar interference. We're tracking six, so he's in a good position on his beacon. Roger. He's in the catch-up mode. Roger. He seems to be holding real steady. We're getting uh, very little on activity. And we have copied and completed the tape dump. up bits of conversation between the astronauts 125 feet apart facing each other Gemini 6 in front of Gemini 7 as they come across the Pacific Ocean rendezvous having been achieved a first in space American flags broken out at mission control in this Houston, is Georgia. Control. Here's Paul Houston. Haney at mission control. you heard the uh, Sharon Mormon discussing this incredible encounter in space over Hawaii there joshing each other about uh, the condition of their spacecraft. The flight plan calls for them to be performing an in-plane fly around by Shira at this time. He's to fly completely around the spacecraft and they're to maintain a distance of approximately 100 feet. They're talking to each other again. Let's go back. Ask them what their range is now. Okay. Uh, six, what's your range? Uh, 20 feet. Or rather, 20 feet, right? 20 feet apart. That's what Sherrall said he was going to do, bring it in within 20 feet. And we have LOS offices, both vehicles have LOS. We did it. Hundred and eighty-five miles above the earth traveling 17,550 miles an hour, and they're 20 feet apart, looking at each other. We have the lost the signal window. now via Hawaii. The last message from there, I think, came from Ed Fendel. Just a brief statement, we did it. You heard Tom Stafford estimate the range at 20 feet just before we lost signal. As I said, the uh, six is to perform a fly around maneuver. Then uh, spacecraft seven is to take some thruster plume photographs of six. They're to continue their station keeping at 100 feet. And uh, within a very few minutes, should we should acquire from California. <laughs> had any specific information from Houston as to how well they feel Shira is doing in uh, the use of his uh, maneuvering fuel aboard Gemini 6. He did report he had about 50% of it left. Flight Director Chris Kraft here is asking Elliot C. to uh, ask the two to enlarge a bit on their description of the encounter. We're also getting some uh, Delta V information. Here's Elliot C. telling the two that several million people are interested in how it went. Here it is. We initiated with a, a Delta V that was 0314. 